Zasucha, Tavachi, and welcome to another vlog that needs to go down. Again, as always, lots of stuff to talk about, lots of ground to cover. But, uh, first off, let's talk about Rise of Nations. Rise of Nations is done. Yeehaw. That's out the door, that's finished. I recorded the epic seven-part, hour-and-five-minute battle all in one one day, and edited all in one day, and it was a pretty long, arduous process, but I got it all up there, and that, uh, eliminates some of my workload. That's all done. Also, later today, you can expect Realms 15 and 16 for sure. Those will be up. Maybe Finale for Left 4 Dead, and maybe, uh, some Empire Total War parts. Well, I'll hopefully go up today, but for sure, Realms will be up. And let me tell you, that game is awful. That game is so bad. Oh, God, I hate it so much. It's <laughs> one of the worst games I've played in a very, very long time, but it's still a, f it's still a f hilarious game. So, uh, it still gets... I, h I still hope you guys will check that one out, just because it's ridiculous. It's always ridiculous what happens in that game. It's just so stupid. Anyway... Um, let's talk about a few things. Uh, one, I'm making this vlog for the main reason of talking to you, because I want you, the viewer, to be in, to help me with something. I want, if you have a camera, uh, yeah, it's got to be a camera. I, I like to have it fairly decent quality. I don't want a webcam, but, well, maybe if it's a really good, high quality webcam, if you got a camera or a high quality webcam, I want you to message me because uh, I want I'm doing like a little trailer for my next project. I want I want to have um, a few people saying different lines, and it'd be cool if I had some viewers in that video. So if you got a camera um, or high quality webcam, hit me up a message. I'm gonna hit you. Uh, I'll, I'll give you some lines that I'd like you to say, it, say for me, and then uh, upload that clip to like Rabbit Share or upload it or whatever, and I'll take that and I'll put it into my video. So. If you want to be in a video and I like to get a little bit of a, li like to get some other lines and some other people in there, definitely make sure you hit me up because uh, I'm very excited about doing that. Also, in case you, you, you're wondering what the hell this is, I don't even know what the hell this is. I just end up drinking it. My mom buys it. It's called Vital White Tea, made with real fruit juice. So it's like, I guess it's like tea and orange juice mixed together. I don't really know, but I think it's good for you, and it's and it tastes pretty good, so I'll keep drinking it. Anyway, moving right along, I like to talk about uh, the website, a couple things. Um, we ran into some copyright issues, so things have been slowed down a little bit. We gotta work. We gotta work out through those copyright issues. Hopefully, we'll end up with nobody getting sued, because the last thing I need right now is a lawsuit, whatever. So. I'm working through the copyright issues. I think it'll be fine, and everything will will work out at the end. But that has been delayed a tad, a tad. So uh, that's all for now. And I also want to talk about something like, uh, um, you know, through all the money that I've I've made with my blog, I haven't made that much money. I've almost made a hundred dollars, and uh, Google doesn't pay me until I make a hundred dollars. So I just need a little bit more money. I've got like ninety six dollars right now before Google will pay me. But uh. At first, I thought that was money was going to be necessary for me to survive, but now that I've got two do two jobs, it's not necessary for me to survive. So I consider all that money, all that money is donations, and all that money will be used to either like uh, for uh, because I, I threw out my Empire Total War tournament. All that money will be used to get like prizes for that or buy new games for me to let's play. So all that money will be returned to you in some way. It's not going to be used for like my personal spending money so that I can like go out and like you know buy gas and and go spend it on hookers or whatever it is that I do with that money. That money will end up being returned to you in some fashion. So I just thought you guys would like to know that. Another thing I want to segue into, as I want to talk briefly about uh, Vladim, he made a video discussing Stalin, and it was very good. It was very nice. I was a, a very much so appreciated seeing his uh, viewpoints. And uh, all in all, he tried to remain neutral, but it was it was a little more positive than it was negative. All told, when the chips fell. But if you want to see a, a, a genuine like Russian 
viewpoint and discussion about Stalin, make sure you head over to Vladim's channel and check out that video. It was very good. It was very nice, and I quite appreciate him making that. I don't want to reveal too much in this. I have you guys to go and watch it and make uh, the judgment calls for yourself. So, make sure to check out that if you want to see a viewpoint of Stalin that's a little less fanatical than mine. And, uh, I guess... For the last couple minutes, I'd like to follow up a little bit on Castro because I am, I think I might get a little uh, emotional about some of the stuff that people have said. Some of the stuff that people said were just, it was just so stupid and so ignorant that it made me want to throw up. Some people that comment on these videos are just so, like, they've got, like, mental quotients of sticks of butter. It's just terrible. Like, oh, okay. I don't like to openly call out call people like morons, but I think that if you if you think that Cuba would be better without Castro, I'm gonna openly call you a moron right here because if there was no Fidel Castro, I'll tell you what would have happened. What would happen is there would be an American instilled president, aka dictator, overseeing that country. And he wouldn't he would be looking out for America's Americans' interests, not Cubans' interests. So, not to mention that Cuba, not, not sorry, American American leaders, especially Republican leaders, don't give a shit about their lower up. So, what makes you think they're going to give a shit about the people who are lower down in Cuba? Then this this American backed leader would open up the country, corporations would flood in, they'd strip the land of resources and take it to America, leaving the Cuban people with nothing, leaving that country as a cesspool full of crime and just a messed up situation. Living standard would go down, GPD would go down, adult education would go down, everything would just be in the toilet and that country would be a miserable place to be. In all honesty, I think that America would be one of the worst places in the world to live just because if you got sick or you got hurt or whatever and you didn't have health insurance and man you are fucked you gotta spend your whole life repaying something that wasn't even your fault just to continue to survive and I think that's just such a miserable miserable existence that would be just such a miserable existence to have I mean sorry uh random aside uh, or random tangent aside I also like to say that you know if you're arguing against what Fidel Castro did. I mean, the numbers are all right there. The statistics are all right there in your face. And just arguing against those is like a waste of time and a waste of breath. I mean, for the love of Christ, Cubans have higher life expectancy than Americans. If that's not saying something, I don't know what is. Oh, as you might notice, I'm, I'm kind of seeing a lot of different things without really expanding them, because that's how my mind works. It's, uh, it, it moves a million miles per second, and it's always jumping from one point to the next. And if you notice, when I talk, I'm very fast. I'm always boom, 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 next point, next point, next point, next point. It's just how I work. It's how I roll. I'm a very abstract thinker. I also want to briefly talk about, I was over at my buddy Phil's house last yesterday, and he's, he's also an abstract thinker, and we're having this conversation. And he says to me, I, 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 he says to me, Spencer, I don't, I don't believe in any of this. I don't, I'm not a communist. I'm not a capitalist. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not whatever. I think good ideas are good ideas. And that's what I believe. I don't believe that there are, that there is a good or bad political system. I think it doesn't matter what system you have, whether it be a democracy, whether it be a fascist dictatorship, whether it be a communist country doesn't matter what system you have if you have a bad person leading it it's going to be a bad governmental system and it doesn't matter what system you have if you have a good person leading it it'll be a good governmental system there's no good or bad political structures there's just good or bad people and that's that that was our conversation yesterday and that that's something that was really hit me and really resonated with me because i that that's just basically what i believe that's that, like I said, with my whole caring, my whole empathy thing, that's what I, that's, hits right at what I believe, that if you have a caring person, an empathetic person, it doesn't matter what kind of governmental 
like political ideology he, will, he or she will have, they will create a good system because they'll have that caring, and they'll have that empathy, and they'll make sure that the people who are lowest down, people who are middle up, people who are higher up, are all treated with respect and all treated with dignity. That will create a very sound, very solid political structure. But uh, I'm running out of time, and that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you have a camera or high quality webcam, hit me up on messages and I'll make sure to get back to you. But for now, this is Joseph Fisaronovic Stalin signing off and I'll see you guys later.